stands for polycystic ovaries and it's a condition where your ovaries are producing too many follicles and here we are calling these follicles cysts because these follicles are not growing at a proper rate and they are not ovulating. So instead of producing one to two follicles which grow at a proper rate and ovulate, now you have too many follicles which are not growing properly and not ovulating. So this is what is happening at the level of the ovaries. Now you have more than 12 to 15 follicles. This is the definition of PCOS. Now how do we diagnose PCOS? PCOS is diagnosed based on Rotterdam criteria and for a lady to be diagnosed as PCOS, she can have two of the following three criteria. Number one is oligo and ovulation. What it means is you are not ovulating regularly. Number two is hyperandrogenemia, which means that you have more male hormone in your body and it can look like clinical features like acne, hirsutism, excessive body and facial hair, alopecia, loss of ladylike hair and more of male pattern of hair growth on your body. And it can also be biochemical, like if you can have a blood test where your blood shows high androgen levels. The third criteria for polycystic ovaries is PCO morphology on ultrasound. And what this means is your ovaries look polycystic on ultrasound. They do not look healthy. So this is the diagnosis of PCOS. And the classical presentation of PCOS is someone with um, who is overweight, with irregular delayed cycles, acne, facial and body hair. But this is only 50%. In 50% of cases, there can be atypical presentation of PCOS. And I have seen it all. I have seen slim PCOS. I have seen clear skin PCOS. So PCOS can present in many, many different forms. Now, what are the types of PCOS? The most common is insulin-based high androgen PCOS. They can also be adrenal-based DHEA, abnormal DHEA PCOS. It can be high DHEA or it can be low DHEA. They can also be post birth control pill PCOS. Yes, because pill depletes you of vital micronutrients and it can lead to polycystic ovaries. One of the very common things I see is postpartum PCOS where the lady did not have PCOS before pregnancy but after delivery she develops polycystic ovaries. Then there is unhealthy gut associated PCOS, thyroid problems associated PCOS. So all these are the different root causes of PCOS. It can be a spectrum and there can be a lot of overlap between all these causes. So when it comes to healing PCOS, you have to heal the entire endocrine system. And because a major part of your endocrine system, the hypothalamus and pituitary gland is situated in the brain. So I will go on to say that you have to heal the mind as well as body if you want to heal the root cause of PCOS.